It goes back to about 1962. That's when uh, we both went to McCaskey, class of 1965, but we met at her uncle's restaurant called the Madison. Uh, he left to go to the service in, in Vietnam, and we rode for that whole year. Then he came home, you came to my house yeah, for a party. A, a party. And uh, I went upstairs and said to my mom, I said, I think he's going to ask me to marry him. And she says, don't you dare marry him. She said, he's going to go back there and get killed. So um, nothing ever came about it then. So then I hear he, he, when he went over on his second tour, he never wrote me. I thought, oh my God, he got killed. So I remember when, uh, the, when I was married to the father of my children, going down to uh, Washington, D.C. to see um, the Vietnam War, and I was looking for it. Back then, you had to know when they died. They, now they have, a, I think, a separate thing where you, if it's alphabetically, you can tell where it is. So I was there two hours, and my uh, th then the husband said, what are you doing? I said, oh, I'm trying to see how many kids died that I went to school with. I was really looking for it. What yeah. she didn't know was when I left to go to my next duty station down in Texas, someone stole my duffel bag, so I lost all contact with the check for my family because I knew them. And this is before computers and before anything, so we didn't have any way to get contact. And of course, then I went back to Vietnam for another year. So I, this, for a year and a half, we lost contact. And that's why she thought I had died. And over the years, uh, between marriages, I would come back for a class reunion looking for her. I never did find her, and I kept asking people and they didn't know. Well, neither did I know she was actually in Singapore. And so nobody knew, and she was out in there for 15 years or so. And finally, I moved back to Lancaster in 1998. And uh, I've lived here since then. Uh, I did live in Harrisburg after I retired. And that's uh, after I retired, I got sick in uh, April 27th, 2011, I ended up in the hospital. Yeah, yeah. the following year, in yeah. 2012, uh, after I was recovering, having my kidney out, uh, I was living in Harrisburg, and my sister-in-law calls, who is also a classmate from our class, telling me that she saw in the newspaper that Mimi's mother had just passed away, which surprised me. I didn't know if she was living in Lancaster, so I went online and sent a uh, condolence through the funeral home, and it seemed like it was forever. I didn't get a response, I and I thought she was mad at me because I didn't write her, but she didn't know the whole story. And finally, about a, four or five days later, she sent me an email, and, uh, uh, that, and we got in contact that way. We talked, and we, I helped her with her parents' house and their belongings, and from there we just, rekindle our connection and uh, I can't remember anything else. Yeah. Well, th th like you said, my mother died oh, yeah. and she was the one that kept us apart so it's ironic that she, she it's her death that brought us back together again. After 46 yes. years. Yes. Our favorite things is love forever because my maiden name was Lefter and his is fault so we always write LF. That's our code between love, us. Love forever. Yes. Love forever. Right.